So this, the opening first round match of the Copa Libertadores. Here we go then. He's on his way. The low ball in. Pushed away. Can he find a finish? That goes out of play and it's a goal kick. back very well there it was good defending you have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here tries with his head oh that was a really good position i think when you're in front of goal like that you really should do better that's a poor finish in the end well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Now, surely... ...drives it in. Good open start to this game. He's found space. This goes for a throw in. Up for that one. A decent try, but not good enough. side able to find the net at the moment and that's not getting through try to play it through over the top goes for a lob back off the bar the first goal goes to Atletico Paranaense given the time and space he had he was never likely to miss. I think when you can see the goal like that, the manager has to start questioning his personnel because to allow someone into that position, totally unmarked, I think that's reckless in the extreme, I really do. They get us underway at 1-0. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. They have to stay focused. it through a oh, good interception just what they needed it's played into space he's on side oh he's hit the post and he makes absolutely no mistake two goals to the good and they're set fair really quick reactions to the loose ball well, they can count themselves a little fortunate there. The ball took a big deflection, and he pounced on it to score. So, it's now two without reply. 
Well, at 1 0, this game was very much in the balance, but at 2 0, they ought to be able to defend this lead from here. Forward it goes. Keeper's got it. It is good to see a forward tracking back and defending like that from time to time. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another Denied level with his desire post. to get back and, and help everyone out. Played in accurately. And there is the referee's whistle to end the first half. Here we go with the second half. Just the keeper to beat. Play surges forward. And a goal. They have a three goal advantage, and that should be enough. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. We resume again. The score is 3-0 to receive the ball, break could be on. Reiner Torres. Kicked off there. Important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Long ball forward. The goalkeeper's got a hold of it. He's looking to find his front men. The ball played through the middle. Hits the ball. Oh, that should have been their fourth. Yeah, with him being under pressure from a couple of opponents, I thought he showed real determination to get some sort of attempted goal, and you have to give him credit at least for that. And a header. The idea was good, execution wasn't. He reached the hour mark. Universitario. Launches it high, well intercepted, saw the danger and got to it. Nice ball through, good pass through. Strikes it, that's probably caused a few sighs. Well, he didn't really get hold of that one, it was a weak effort in the end.
Rainer Torres. Trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Forward it goes. What can Atletico Paranaense do here? He'll be penalised for that. He's going on his own. Didn't have any luck with the through ball there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Not the most difficult of saves in the end. Well, as they say, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. But from that range, accuracy and power are the key ingredients. That's what's needed now. Surges forward. Oh, good block. He was in the right place. Laid in accurately. Some good skills, but ultimately unsuccessful. He goes alone. No, the defence alert and picked out the danger. The clock counting down. He goes, and that's a good tackle. A foul, a fairly easy decision for the referee. The referee has a huge call to make here, and he sent him off. Universitario must play the rest of this game a man short. It's caught there, it'll be a foul. A yellow card, no cause for argument there. <laughs> Incisive pass that. It's in. That is simply unsavable. They restart with the deficit, now narrowed to two. The time added on will be four minutes. It's opened up nicely for him. It's out of play, and that'll be a goal kick. had enough well I have to say that is a terrible start to the tournament it's a result that does them few favors it leaves them in the position of needing something from every remaining And here we have Universitario against the strongest. John Champion here, and this, the voice of Jim Beglin. Hi, John. Hi, everyone. I'm really looking forward to this match.
Daniel Chavez. Plenty of industry being shown, but not a lot of inspiration. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Alejandro Chumacero. Daniel Chavez. They get it forward. Now a chance for a cross from the flank. It's a good hit. That is wayward. Right in front of the goal like that, and he's gone and missed it. I won't have to tell him that's not good enough. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. in the face of strong opposition pressure Luis Melgar quarter of an hour gone Universitario so far providing no real test for the opposition goalkeeper <laughs> Nelvin Solis Daniel Chavez. Luis Melgar. Universitario on the ball, but not being very threatening with it. Intercepted, saw the danger and got to it. Daniel Chavez, Alejandro Chumacero, Nelvin Solis, Alejandro Chumacero, Luis Melgar. He's on his way. This goes for a throw-in. <laughs> Heading towards half-time, and it's still scoreless. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. Looking to exploit the space, and a much-needed intervention that was, too. He plays it through, through on his own. The keeper's got it. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Pablo Escobar. He'll be penalised for that. Universitario must play the rest of this game a man short. He tried going it alone, but without success. Alejandro Chumacero. Nelvin Solis. Pablo Escobar, challenge deemed unfair, foul given. And 
And with that, the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Neither side has managed the goal. It's nil-nil. Here we go with the second half. He decides to shoot, and it's a really well-taken goal. What a start to the second half this is. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? Well, we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground and lovely when it comes off on match day. They get us underway at 1-0. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Versitario scoring early in the second half to give them a 1-0 lead. Versitario, not as yet making any changes. <laughs> Nelvin Solis. The ball crossed the line. into space out wide little in the way of subtlety in that tackle that looked a foul and the referee's given it and that will see him go into the referee's notebook And he crosses it, up for that one. No, lacked control in the end. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. The strongest have the ball, but they're not making much progress at the moment. Pablo Escobar, Nelvin Solis. He'll be pulled up for a foul. <laughs> Tries to slide it past the defence. Skillfully hit. Good strike, but straight at the keeper. Great contact, but he just made it too easy for the keeper by going down the middle.
forward it goes. Yes, that's a foul. It was always likely to be the outcome. Yellow card. Clumps it long. Both sides fiercely contesting the ball. Luis Melgar with the foul. A yellow card. No cause for argument there. Walter Vezaga. And that's gone straight to the keeper. The clock counting down. Victory is tantalisingly close. They're just waiting for the whistle to come. Tries it from long range. The time added on will be four minutes. This goes for a throw in. Nelvin Solis. Alejandro Chumacero. Well, time is running out, they need to get the ball upfield. Luis Melgar. The referee brings the game to a close. By the narrowest of margins, they have come through this test. And that owed a lot to the defence, who were absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and I think after that solitary second-half goal, they did what all good teams do and protected their lead. Thank you.